It's gonna take a lot to drag me away it's October already, and before it gets cold, we've got an activity for you to take those kids outside, take those adults outside, anyone you want. This activity is something I call musical hulas. You need open space, hula hoops of various sizes, and music. This can be done with about five people, five people on up to a hundred if you have that amount of hula. So what you do is you take your hula hoops and you put them in a circle on the open space, grass, or inside on a gym floor, or wherever you have available. So, our black circles here are the hula hoops. They are all different sizes. I don't know if you have those. If you don't, that's okay. They can be the same size. And if you do have different sizes, that makes the challenge a little more fun. Our purple marks are the participants. So when the music turns on, they get to move around inside the space. They can do a little dancing, a little moving, and they're kind of mingling. Okay. When you stop the music as a facilitator, you call out a number. This number is one through however many participants you have. So let's say you have approximately 30 participants, and you call out number one, uh, or you could call out numbers one through 30. That number you call is how many people have to be in each hula hoop to stay in the game for the next Let's round. Let's say you call number five. So five, so these little X's have to try and divide themselves up into five people in each hula hoop with nothing touching outside of the hula hoop. So you call five. They get in their little hoops of five. Some of them, there were three left for this particular group, so those three would be out. The next thing you do is to make it more of a challenge, each round you take out one of the hula hoops. So this hoop is now gone for the next challenge. So the exes, the people who are still in, go back into their center and the music turns on again and they dance around and they move and they mingle and they have fun and then you decide you want to call the number 10. So they have to try and get 10 people in each hula hoop no matter how big it is without having a foot or anything outside the hula hoop touching the ground. So we get a few people, we get three hoops of, of full of people and we have two people who didn't make it so they're out for the next round and then you take out more hula hoops. Now you can take out one each round or to make it even more of a challenge you can take out three. Here I have us taking out one, two, and three hoops all at once. You play till everyone's done. You play numerous times. You don't even have to eliminate people. You can make it like golf where they keep a score and whoever has, every time they don't make it in a hoop with the right amount of people, you know, then they get a point. And your goal is to have, like, a really low score to win. Um, you could play for candy. You could, you could do all sorts of things with it. It's a great energizer. It's fun. People like it. It goes quick. Uh, keep it moving and, um, and keep people involved, especially in the first round. Don't have people be out right away. Give a few practice rounds uh, so they get the feel for it and they get that fun in there. Um, again, a variety of hoops. It's just a great way to have a good time, laugh, and be together. So enjoy, and we'll see you in November.